When we see some form of art in Ethiopia, I'm talking about painting, what are the, uh, the features of Ethiopian art? Icons uh, and so on? Yes. and Front of flat and stuff like that? It could be, but it, it always depends on the artist. All artists, especially the plastic uh, artists, they try to find a solution to a problem. Ethiopian artist is quite different from uh, the traditional way of thinking, and he's thinking like any other artist in any other country. He found out a solution uh, using the Ethiopian art, he can apply that. If he can't find any uh, uh, way of taking anything from traditional Ethiopian art, he can as well use uh, his own uh, approach to, and uh, it might not look like Ethiopian uh, quote unquote uh, Christian Ethiopian art. But in the end, on the final analysis, uh, all artists are trying to find a solution to a problem, a plastic problem. And it's up to the individual artists to apply any kind of technique, especially in these days and age. It's, uh, it's so vast, the solution that has been given to all plastic, uh, or plastician or the visual art. So they could get it from Ethiopian art or from their surrounding or from uh, Western art or Asiatic art. Ethiopian who spent a good part of his life somewhere else. It depends. Uh, if he's brought, up, is he's brought up uh, in our culture, he has uh, uh, the philosophy, the language, the tradition, even the food and the music and the literature uh, that has uh, brought him up to be an artist. Uh, he wouldn't go any far from that, which is in fact a, a wonderful thing for an artist uh, as far as trying to explain his society or his uh, people. Um, well, if he's brought up in Ethiopia, definitely he will have that spirit of Ethiopian. Uh, an Ethiopian who is brought up in a foreign land, there is a different uh, approach to his plastic solution. But then again, uh, there is also that tradition he might inherit from his parents that he could as well exploit. We can describe uh, through the lines, the form, the composition, uh, the colors, that a specific work of art uh, is Ethiopian. So here's the contemporary Ethiopian art. I'm, I'm assuming, I mean, I'm thinking of uh, a number of Ethiopians who continue to experiment with the plasticity of art. And um, I'm assuming the one, I'm, I'm, I have in mind the one who's never been to the School of Art here in Addis Ababa. And I'm also thinking of the guy who's been to the School of, you know, the School of Art. Both of them are contemporary Ethiopian art. We're not going to define uh, those who are not uh, in the fine art school uh, as not contemporary. They are contemporary, definitely. And uh, it's just a matter of getting the instruction at the fine art school. And uh, like in any other institution you go to learn, you learn there. But uh, uh, due to certain circumstances, you might not be able to get that education. But you can also express yourself. So you, in, you are an artist, is what he's saying? Uh, without ever going to school. You don't have to go to school if you have a certain uh, feeling that you want to express in uh, painting or sculpture or in graphic art. But it is always uh, advantageous to go to school and gain uh, a much more practical and very, uh, very modern way of expressing yourself. You know, it's a handicap not to go to school, definitely. But you could as well not go to school and express yourself. We, we, we see, I'm thinking of these guys who've never been to the art school, guys whom we, who, who we see as we speak in the, in the churches uh, in different parts of this country, illustrating manuscripts. They are artists, right? That's what you're trying to say. They are artists. Absolutely. But we have a good bunch of people who've, went, who've gone to art school, trained in some form of art, be it sculpture, painting, and so on and so forth. Who is m making a meaningful contribution to art? Who is really an artist here? It, it, are those guys in the churches illustrating manuscripts, manuscripts and so on and so forth, still artists who are really making an imprint? There is a very delicate thing here. The artist in the contemporary sense is a thinker. He thinks and produces a work of art which could all satisfy him or the society. There are also others who are considered as artists. They illustrate things like the scripture, 
or any other history or any other uh, sort of propaganda. They illustrate that. So there are two kinds of artists. And the painter is like a poet or uh, an author or even more than that, um, would I say a thinker. And so you bring these people together and call them both artists, that is true, but one describes a very subtle and sublime thing and the other describes daily and very ordinary things. So what is the contribution of the contemporary Ethiopian arts? Well, uh, it depends the way the society uh, want to use it and call it. Uh, the contemporary artist's contribution is uh, so wide that uh, in our daily life we can see it, uh, we can uh, read it, we can even uh, sense it. Uh, it's not like uh, uh, something that passed right away. It's so subtle, it goes to our blood, to our life, to our uh, psychology, it, it, our thinking, and uh, our, even our uh, um, appreciation of life itself. It's up to us also to see and wonder uh, how much the contribution is. Uh, the artist is just an individual who creates, satisfy himself, and then in the long run, the society and uh, uh, whoever is interested in art. But deep down, uh, if we try to understand and read, his contribution is as much as important as the author, the writer, uh, the musician, uh, even the social scientist. Uh, but it is very hard to just get it right away. It's not like any like any other form of art. Like any other form of art, even more so because painting is not as easy as it is. Uh, it's not as easy uh, like uh, literature or music to get it true in our body or in our soul. So we have to get a knowledge of uh, learning and seeing and appreciating it. Then, of course, it will totally satisfy our life and our, you know day-to-day -day activities. Well, this is a very broad question, but I'm, 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 I will be referring to your area of speciality, Ethiopian art, 1900 to the present. What major changes have we witnessed um, in Ethiopian art in the last 100 years? That's the whole point of our discussion, I would say. When you question me about the, the, the amateur artist or the, the church painter, and the one who is graduate from the fine arts school, uh, the whole difference lies in, like I said in the beginning, in finding a solution to a plastic problem. The Ethiopian artists uh, before the 19th century had found a solution that is uh, linear and uh, very much flat in s structure, and they were satisfied, and for centuries, several centuries, they've been using that until the 19th century. And in the beginning of uh, the 20th century, to find uh, an illusion uh, on a flat surface that has not been uh, achieved earlier. And that uh, achievement was transferred slowly uh, up until the present day. And uh, when we got a modern uh, form of education, which used uh, more scientific, more rational things in describing your idea or your emotion or your thought, then it becomes uh, more realistic, more naturalistic. And from that onward, uh, that the those we have seen in centuries in Ethiopian Christian art uh, become totally different from the one we've seen uh, after the 19th So the isms that we have today um, are really an extension, a natural extension of what happened 100 years ago? Uh, but the ism is also a historical phenomena. In the 50s and the 60s, there were uh, dynamic Ethiopian artists uh, who came from Europe in America, and uh, they were teaching, of course, what has been achieved by the avant-garde European artists, mm -hmm. and that totally changed the movement. That realistic and naturalistic, very simplistic and naive approach to painting was totally changed in a couple of uh, years, and then, what do you say, ism came to dominate in the history of uh, art in the country.